Well, let's turn to Sean Lewis, who is live in Highland Park with the latest. Sean. Yeah, Pat and Dean investigators say not only did Cremo legally purchase that firearm that he they say he used during the shooting yesterday, but he also had another rifle in the car when he was taken into custody yesterday evening uh, in Lake Forest. Uh, in addition to that rifle that they found in the vehicle, they say when they went to his home in Highwood, he also had other weapons inside of that home. All of them, they say, were legally purchased. We also learned that Cremo is believed to have disguised himself, as you mentioned, by wearing a dress and perhaps a long wig to conceal his very distinctive tattoos that he has on his neck and face. Local police are crediting the ATF and quickly tracing that rifle that was dropped at the scene back to Cremo. They say after the shooting, Cremo blended in with that frantic crowd running for their lives, ended up going to his mom's home nearby to lay low before he left in that silver Honda Fit in which he was spotted by a North Chicago police officer, ultimately pulled over and taken into custody. There are several Several uh, prayer services happening in and around the Highland Park community uh, starting this afternoon. Uh, and also, we are going to be learning more about the victims uh, who perished in yesterday's shooting. All of that coming up later this hour. For now, we are live at the Highland Park Police Department. Sean Lewis, WGN News.